Hey guys, all jacked up 12 here. Today's subject is data recovery. Now, let's say you have a drive that has been very, very reliable for five, six, seven years, and one day you go and start your computer and you get blue screens all the time. So now you're getting blue screens like every time you start your computer. And you're wondering, what is wrong? So you talk to somebody and they say, oh, you need a new hard drive and all your data on the, and then they can't recover any of your data on the old hard drive. Well, that is honestly a lie. A lot of times, as long as your board isn't dead in the, in the drive, you will be able to recover all of your files. Most of the time, it's just an error in Windows that said that a corrupt file. So a file in Windows is corrupt and it won't start. You cannot start in your Windows. I've had that problem with that computer right there. That's the Dell XPS M140. I've had it with this one, the Inspiron 8100. And Dell replaced the drive in every single one of them. So this IBM Travel Star, which was 30 gig, is replaced with a new drive. You can see it's running right now. With 120 gig drive, but that's not really the point of today. They said I could not recover my data on the drive. And so I said, what? My drive seems to be fine. I mean, it boots. It's not like the board is completely dead. So I went on eBay and I looked for a IDE to USB bridge. And so what it does is it converts the IDE interface of the drive. You can kind of see the pins there. And it converts it right here, plugs into the drive, it converts it to USB. So you can plug it into your computer and run the drive through USB and transfer your data away without having to boot into the Windows that is on this drive. So what it is is you simply plug this into there. We'll imagine that's plugged in because I don't want to drop the camera or something here. And then so once it's plugged in, this goes into this box. And so all you see is a nice black box. They have them in different colors too. They have like blue, white, black. Um, so I got this one for three bucks. And it recovered all of my data. Except for Windows files. And so here, I'll try and show you this here. So all I did, simply line it up. Line up all the pins. Make sure you get them all. If you put them on the wrong pins, you could have a short and completely kill your drive. So you gotta be careful. Okay, so it's all plugged in. See, it's plugged in. Great, so now it's like a USB drive. There we go. So I just converted my hard drive to a USB drive. Now let's get rid of this ugliness and let's put it in this case. Put it in the nice black case to hide all of its ugliness. Drop it in there and there we go. There are screws on the side. I'm not putting them in though for this video. I'm just showing you, okay. Now we take this and, well, oh, wait a minute. This looks like a USB that's already on my computer. How do I connect it? Comes with a cable, people. This end, it's single USB. This end is the end that plugs into your drive. So this end goes into your drive. And you'll notice this other end has two. Well, why the heck does it have two on it? Well, the reason is one of them is for your data and power. In most computers you'll only need this one. But in some where they don't provide enough power, this one will provide you with some extra juice, but it will not transfer data. You must plug this one in, no matter what. But let's say this light flashes and your drive is making noises when you plug it in. Well, the chances are it probably needs more power. So this one, which is already plugged in, will transfer only some power but this one is where you get your other amps and your voltage and everything like that so you'll plug this one in and this one in to two different USB ports they cannot be on the same port so you can't plug them in to a let's say you have some converter that turns one USB into four or seven USBs you cannot plug both of these into the same converter. It will cause you problems and your drive will not work. Okay, 
So now I'm just going to show you what how this thing works. Show you how I got my data off here. There's my system, my custom built system, Windows 7 Ultimate. So I'll take this and I'll plug it into my back panel here. So there we go. Let's see if I plug it in here. Give me one sec. Okay. Plugged in. There we go. Light turns on because my board gives power to all USBs all the time. Just a little extra feature. But the only time you'll do this is when the computer is running. This is just to show you that I don't need this one. And that you have to plug it into a USB port. Okay. I recommend having it unplugged and then booting your computer. And then once your computer fully boots into Windows, whether that's XP, Vista, whatever else, Alt 7, whatever. So after it's in your operating system, then, then plug it in. Because you may have problems with boot when you start your computer and this is plugged in. It might try to boot from this drive, which you don't want. Okay, so I'll fire up my computer. Pretty cool, lights up blue, custom. I'll show you guys a video of that some other time. Okay, and my computer will boot. That's my other computer going to hi into hibernate. Don't know if you heard that. My Inspiron 8100. Okay, you can see Windows 7 boots fine. It's not plugged in. Okay, so I'm getting the welcome screen. So I'm going to come down here. It's booted. You can see that. Come down here, and we'll plug the USB that carries power and data. Not just power. Power and data. We'll plug it in to a USB port on the back of my computer. Plug it in. Come up here. And then what will happen is all I have to do... There we go, you can see it popped up, autoplay, autoplay option right there. Zoom in on it. There we go, autoplay. Okay, so I'll click open folder to view files. Click on that. And then, okay, here's all my files from the hard drive. There's the drive right there. So, so I, let's say I saved files in my documents. So I'll go into documents and settings. Then I'll go to this one. This is my dad. Uh, a uh, uh, started this computer so it's got his name right there so I'll go into this will be your name it says you can, you currently don't have permission to access this folder click continue and this one might not load because it's uh, I already transferred the data but uh, in your case it will load as long as your drive is completely torn apart but here we go see I can, I can get to desktop which there we go I have iTunes there you go so you to your desktop so you saved on your desktop you can take this recover your file and there you go it's on your new computer new drive you can recover like any of your files and so let's say you don't have a CD to install Windows and you bought this on your new drive what you can do go into the i386 folder and then you can either Google this or I'll have a video some other time. And out of these files, you can create a new Windows install CD. This one is from Home, XP Home. So I can install Windows XP Home from this onto my new drive. I'll have a video of that later. So you completely don't even have to buy a new operating system. You can use your existing key. And then you're ready to go. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you data is gone off your drive, you drive crashes, get one of these. They help. Right now it's flashing. It's because it's acting, working, whatever, same thing. Get one of those. Don't pay to get a new drive in operating system or don't lose your files that you need for work or something or school or whatever. Don't lose those files. You're good. You don't need 
to absolutely get new hardware. And in most cases, you can actually wipe this drive. Say this right now, you can just wipe the drive and reinstall Windows over it. It'll work perfectly fine. Trust me, I've done it before. Hope you enjoyed the video. All Jacked Up 12, signing out.